welcome back guys so let's start um, detailing the boots okay so let me just put this around here and i'll select this boot shift f to reveal the poly the poly frame in there okay i think everything is all good select this i'm kind of thinking this is just way too high this feels a bit way too high maybe i can hit e on the keyboard and then try to probably even try to shrink that in like so let me undo that let me do that let me try to do okay let me just shrink this in like so Let me undo that. Let me isolate. Let me isolate this first. Maybe I'll do something like this instead. BZM, BZM. Then I'll delete this. I'll delete this edge loop so I can select only this police police poly group in here and then bring that down. Uh, okay, let me do the opposite direction instead. Let me do it from below. So I'll come in here, hit Alt, or hit Space Bar rather, click on Delete, Edge Loop Complete. Now delete this. Then go to Move Topology, Control Shift, click. Okay. Okay, now we have two of these. This is now one, doesn't really matter though. But just to be on the safe side, let me just do an auto group on this. Okay. Then select this. Control Shift and click for that again. Control Shift click. Control Shift. Then I'll drag out. Drag a selection out. Just invert that selection. Control W to give them the same poly group then i'll mark this just control click out then control shift click to click out and click out to invert the selection to bring everything back then control click and control click out to invert that selection then hit w <coughs> then i can hit w now so i'll just then i'll just kind of push this up a bit more like so somewhere around there should be fine it doesn't feel too thick that's fine then all i have to let's see if there's anything we can do i think this should be fine shift f yeah this should be just fine then i can just go in there and then add back my add back that loop so inserts okay so around there should be fine. Now this one feels a bit out of place. I need to scale. I need to scale this out. So I can just do a rough auto group on this. And I'll control click. Control click again, control click, control shift click. Just basically the same process. Now max this. Invert the selection. Because I want to be sure. It should be properly. It should be sitting around the same place. So. Let me, see, let me just isolate this. Try to get this like so. Then scale that up. One part feels a bit uneven. I'll just try to eyeball this and then 
try to adjust this as closely as, as I can. Okay. Maybe even use the move topological brush and then do something more precise in there. Yeah, this should be fine. This should be fine. If you still want to make some more, some more corrections to it, you are completely free to do that. But I won't want to waste too much time trying to get this to look perfect. Okay. I think that should work just fine. All right. So <clears throat> let me start. Let me start adding some details on this. So first things first, I need to kind of increase the subdivision level and then I'll create a new layer for it just to save my detailing in there. So let's probably increase this. Let me see how many polygons I need for this. Maybe something close to a mil. Something around one million should be should be should be good enough to use. And I'll create a layer in here. I'll create a new layer in here. Alright. And I'm going to be using a an alpha to kind of carve out carve out the shape. So let me just look for an alpha to use for that. That should work just fine for what I need it for. Okay, so I'm going to be using from this alpha pack. I'm going to be using this one looks closest to what we need it for. This one looks really close to it. There are still a few here, but I think this one is the this one should be the closest for it. Or maybe, or maybe even this. Uh, I'm just thinking. Okay, let's try let's try this so going to the highest subdivision level for this i might even need some more subdivision level for this to kind of capture kind of capture the detail properly but let's try this let's try this let's see how this works out it needs a more bigger brush size for this with a bit more intensity Okay. I think I might even need more. I might even need more subdivision levels to kind of hold this properly. So let's see. Let's just increase the subdivision level by by a step. So I'm going to. Let me go out of record. Then let's multiply this. So we have five million polygons now. Subdivision, le sub subdivision level seven. So let me just try this. Okay, I need to turn on that record. Let me delete this and create a new one. So I'm going to the highest subdivision level now. Now I'll just create a new one. Okay, that seems to hold the details even better. So we can actually work on this subdivision level. Because I want to kind of create this detail in there first before creating this um uh, full detail on the boots. 
So I think we're on symmetry. Yeah, that's fine. So let's see if there's another reference. Okay, yeah, this is the reference image we need. Okay. So I'll just try to do this as accurately as I can. Maybe I should start from here. So this will give me a better perspective. It's supposed to be supposed to even supposed to even be the other way. It's supposed to be the other way. Yeah, like this. <clears throat> Okay. Let me get a better angle on this. Okay. I think I may have missed that. Okay. Yeah, I actually missed. I actually missed that. No, no, it's in the op opposite direction. Let me just try connecting it like this first. Okay. Then I can do a continuation from here. Let me see if I can just uh, it's close though, but not close enough. Let me see if I can use the move topological brush to kind of properly get that transition in there yes this should work yeah something like this should be fine okay then we can just do this also at the back you can do one that runs along all the way downwards Oh, I forgot to use the brush. Let me get a closer view on this. Okay, this one actually has two in between. They're like two threads in between. So let's kind of look for something that matches that properly. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one we need. Oh, we have like two threads. Two threading in between. This should be the one. This one, this one should work just fine. Uh, let me let me increase let me increase the intensity a bit more. This one around here should be fine. The size feels a bit small though.
sizing for this feels a bit small but i think let me just look at this from a distance i think i'll just increase the size a bit more yeah something like this should be fine okay I think the other side also should also have it. Okay, that's fine. I'm actually thinking of increasing the depth of this a bit more. Let's see if we can do something a bit more interesting in here. So the dance sta the standard brush. Let me see if I can accentuate some of this. Just to give, I want to try to give it a bit more height depth. Yeah, something like this should be fine. So I'll just do this around. Let me see if I increase the breast, see what that gives me. Okay. Just checking if that feels too intense. Okay, I think that'll work just fine. That will work just fine. So I'm not going to repeat the same process and any on the entire seam line. And I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so I'm done adding that. Since I'm on symmetry mode, it's affecting both sides. So that should be fine. Okay. So now I'm going to create a new layer and start adding some of these folded folded detail on on the model so let me just let me just let me just name this so uh, let me just name this same same thread details just to keep things organized okay okay so I'll create a new layer for this. I'll just name this full details. And I'm going to turn off this other, the first one created. Let me record this second one now. But I don't want that first one to be to be affected. So let's let me start with this. I'm I'm going to work in off symmetry now. So I'll go out of symmetry mode. Okay. Now go to the lower to the lowest, the lowest subdivision level for this. Maybe even turn on symmetry for now. Just to do like the major block out, then I'll start breaking that up even more. So on the lowest subdivision level, I'm kind of adding the block out on the lowest subdivision level before going higher and then define that even more. We even take down the brush size for this. Sorry, the intensity rather.
something like so okay it's just base though it's just a, a just a good base to start with maybe i can turn off symmetry now something around here i'll do something similar also for the other side i'm going to be really really light, really light handed on this because when i then when i turn on when i turn on the when i kind of go to higher subdivision level most of what i've done i begin to feel more natural So for the other boots, I'm going to I'm going to use the, the detail for the other boots. So I'm seeing more like a triangle in here. So I'm going to try try and replicate replicate that something like so. And as a depth in here, and something that can let me see something. Let me just push this out, okay? Back to the standard brush. Do something that goes across like so. Do something that cuts across. Dig in there a bit more. Let me just push this out. Okay. Some of this needs some pushing out because. They are kind of protruding out way too much. Now just dig in here. Probably won't dig in here a bit more. Something like that. I'm trying not to go too crazy on this. I'm also adding some kind of air curve to it so it feels more natural. Yeah, this one needs to come out a bit more like so. Back to the standard brush. Probably won't do something that connects like so. Okay. And for the top part, I can begin to even do more, do some more detail in here. I'm going really light handed here. Then later on, later on when I go to higher subdivision level, I can even can detail that even more okay i'm still going to leave in some kind of empty space just to make this feel a bit more natural this one is to have some kind of indentation like so Probably even connect this. Do some slight connection here. Okay. Then just kind of add some kind of rounded thickness in here. Something not too precise, but just, something not not too precise, but just to break up that smooth surface in there. Maybe here also. Now, if I should go up to higher subdivision, higher <coughs> subdivision level, this to make this should make a bit more sense. So I'm going to one step higher. You can see how now it has a more smoother transition. So on this level now, I can continue doing. I can. I don't, I don't, on this level now, I just try to accentuate some of those details I've already added on level one, just to make it feel more natural. And that's a bit too aggressive. So you want to kind of build up that. It's more like more or less like building building a kind of kind of detail momentum in there. So you have like a smoother transition around it when you are done.
you also want to be careful with the size of the size of the brush you're using so it doesn't feel so it doesn't feel too large so, you, you, so that the detail doesn't feel too large and out of place I can even smooth some of those details out. It doesn't feel too aggressive. And this one needs to be a bit deeper, something like so. Okay. We're going to smooth this out and do it some depth in here this one feels too aggressive let me kind of smooth that let me kind of dig back down in dig that back down maybe something like so that's fine Let's move that back down. Add this sharp detail in here. Okay. Sharp detail that continues all the way to the back. No, that's way too much. Take down the brush size kind of digging in there just to accentuate that a bit more okay It's more or less like a rep repetitive, repetitive pattern around this, but keeping that directional flow to it, so it feels a bit more natural. I don't want to go all crazy on the detail on this. I think this should be, this should be close enough. If there's any other additional detail, I can just fix that later on. But so far, so far, this looks good enough. So let me just do the same for the other side. So I'm basically, I'm basically following the trend of detail I've already added there in the lower subdivision level. I'm more or less accentuating them as I go. Okay. I'm also adding some kind of S kind of S curve to it. Smoothing some of those details out and digging in some of them in. So, move topological brush. Let me move this out. Let me undo that. 
now with the dem standard brush, I think with the dem standard brush now we can kind of do a few more precise strokes on this. Probably just to make this feel more interesting. Especially in be especially in between folds, just to make those folds a bit slightly a bit tighter. Maybe this should be tighter a bit. Okay. All right. I think this should be fair enough close to what we need it for. If there's, if there's any other correction to be made, I can always do that later on. So let me just go to a, a higher subdivision level. Let's see what other looks on a higher subdivision level. Okay. This should be fine. It's not drawing too much attention. I think this should be fine. So keeping that tight tension for the boots. So let me so let me go to the highest subdivision level and then turn on turn on the other detail we had in there. Let's see how everything blends together in. Let me just bring this back on. Okay, you can see that on top of this now. I think this this works quite nicely now. I think this should be fine. This detail at the back, I think it should be a bit tighter. This back side is not supposed to have that much full detail. It should feel a bit tighter. So let me just kind of probably even smooth all of this back down just to tighten that up. <clears throat> Okay. Just to make this feel a bit tight. All right, even better. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So I think. That should be basically it for these boots. That should be basically it for these boots. So in the next lesson, we can start talking about creating the creating the trousers in there. You can see how this is. The detail still feels the detail still feels tight around it. It's not too it's not too distracting except for the for the upper parts, which is kind of exactly exactly what I want. So this should be fine. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.